I'm a Lutheran pastor. I'm a, I'm a little of an unusual pastor I'm, uh, in some ways. I'm a part-time pastor who owns a brewery. I didn't start a brewery to get out of ministry. I actually started a brewery to facilitate ministry. This business is important for me. It's a part of really embracing the opportunity that this life has given me and to do it the best I can. It is so important that you treat this like a business and not like a hobby. That's why I don't brew here. Shannon, actually, my brewer, brews here all week and then she goes home and home brews. I don't know anyone who loves brewing as much as she does. I still homebrew, I still like to homebrew. Today we're making Chain Dog, which is our Belgian Boom Strong. I was an RN for 11 years, hated every minute of it. One of my colleagues, he was a home brewer. It was probably about three years from my first interest in home brewing to actually being able to do it. And I fell in love. I was just, it's a perfect blend of science and art. For me, it's, you know, geeky enough to keep me happy. It's artistic enough to keep me happy. Is it delicious? Yes, it, it is delicious. Our motto is uh, brew good, so make good beer, but also do good. When you have a really good beer, you don't want to drink it alone. You want to drink it with a friend, you want to talk with them, uh, you want to experience community. And the fact is, is in, in, in our society, we do not have a lot of places where we can experience community. And so I often tell churches uh, that you can learn a lot about how to do community from a brew pub.